Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the difference between hard links and soft links or you may call soft links as symbolic links too. And we are going to talk about that in Linux file system. So first of all, we're going to need to know what is a Linux file system. Well, basically that's just a structure that manages and organizes files and folders in our drives. So if I have a hard drive which has drive C and drive D, it's going to be something like this. And if I have another hard drive, it's going to have its own drives. So basically each of these drives is going to have its own file system. Let's move on. So what do we have in our iNode? That's a basic video that we talked before about that. I have a full video explaining what is an iNode. I'm just going to review very quickly. So iNode is going to basically hold the main information about one file. So what are the files? Files are just a bunch of zeros and ones on our hard drive. And these are going to be in few blocks or maybe in many blocks in our hard drive. The main information that we have on iNode and it's important for this video is going to be the link count as you see on the number one and at the end of this iNode number eight, nine, ten, eleven depends on how big our hard uh, sorry how big our file is it's going to be address of the blocks so these blocks don't have to be continuously uh, after each other. So the address of these blocks, where they start, where they end, uh, they are going to be in last four blocks. As you see in the video, I'm trying to show, let's say I have a file called NicePick, it's a JPEG file. It's going to be located on these few blocks of um, data on my hard drive. Um, what else is in Linux file system? In Linux file system, we have boot blocks, super blocks, and inode blocks, data blocks. These are the four main things. I'm not going to talk about talk deep about uh, what we have in each of these, but just a, a quick review. A boot block is the uh, block zero, basically the first block of our hard drive. When you are booting something from that hard drive, from that uh, drive basically you are going to read that block. That's the first thing going to be read uh, from our drive. Super block is going to hold the main information. The all things that we talked about inodes, they are going to be uh, located on super block. Inode, how many inodes do we have? And good to know, uh, inodes are limited. So I explained it again, I explained in my previous video, uh, we don't have unlimited amount of uh, inodes. So it is possible that we run out of inodes before running out of a space. Let's just leave it here. Inode blocks, obviously we know what they are. And data blocks, well, the data on our hard drive is red and uh, semi-circles. There's one tricky question that you may face. Um, can I make a hard link to a directory. If I go back to my previous slide, so if I have a file over here called NicePick, this NicePick is possible to be in another folder, if you are a Windows guy, or if in another directory. So what is a directory? We're going to need to know what is a directory first. A directory is a hierarchical uh, directory of uh, basically trees that we uh, organize our folders and files basically showing where they are what do we have in these directories in each of these directories we have just a table simple table uh, telling the name of that uh, file name and the related inode to that file name so basically we are going to say okay this is my file and this file is going to be located in this inode the information for this file is going to be located in this inode so when i'm going to read it i'm just going to read uh, that inode which shows me uh, 
the location of my uh, blocks. Now, if I have the same information, the same link to that I node in another directory, what's going to happen? I'm going to have the exact same file, not a copy of that, the exact same file in another directory pointing to the same inode. So this is called hard link. Now going back to our tricky question, can I create a hard link to a directory? First of all, what, what does that mean? It's just a tree. What am I going to point? It doesn't have any uh, inode related. It's just a table. So it's meaningless. Second of all, let's say we managed it somehow to do that. What if I hard link a directory to the same directory? So it's going to be inside itself. It's an infinite loop. It's going to break the Linux file system. It's against our religion. <laughs> so softlink is going to be very simple. Softlink is, if you're a Windows guy, you can compare it to uh, shortcuts in Windows. We are just saying, okay, there is a file. When I click on this, open that file for me. It's that simple, exactly that simple. Uh, so I can go from uh, one file system to another file system by only clicking on this. So it is going to make it possible to uh, open files through different um, file system, different drives. Uh, by the way, drives is similar to partitions, um, the word partition that we use in uh, Windows. And you can create soft links to directories. Now when I'm going to open it, it is possible I can just say that directory I'm going to, when I'm clicking on this file, run a command on background, do something for me to open that directory. So this is going to be a soft link. And these two are the benefits which soft, you know, soft links makes possible for us. That's basically it. It's a very simple concept. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. You have a great day.